Breath of the Wild lets you do pretty much whatever you want, meaning that everyone experiences the game differently, but there's some things that everyone has done at least once or many times. I bet you've done at least 10 things in this video. If I'm right, you have to subscribe, but if I'm wrong, you can yell at me in the comments. Besides touching grass, every Zelda player has cut grass mindlessly. It's very relaxing to just mow your way through Hyrule and collect the resources you get from doing so. Hunting Koroks isn't for the faint of heart, with over 900 of them throughout the map, but everyone has tried at least once to get them all, and some do, but if you're like me, you kinda just gave up after a couple hours. Dropping rocks on Koroks is another thing you've had to have done at least once, either on purpose or accidentally. On the topic of Koroks, the Korok Forest is just such a pain to get to. You've had to have gotten lost in the fog at least once, or in my case, many times, because I didn't know the wind blew the torch in the direction you should go. So I used to just wander around the forest, hoping to find a way in, while trying not to get swallowed by the fog. And then once you got to the Korok Forest, excited to finally get the Master Sword, you were told you couldn't pull it and you needed a full 13 hearts. No way, I'ma pull this sword right now. I've put in too much work to get it. Well, I'll just use temporary hearts. With the beginning of the game, you've had to have picked up this stick, this specific stick, there's no way you have it. Also this baked apple, and then got yelled at by the old man. Getting to the Cryona Shrine was such a pain. You've had to have died to the freezing water, the snowballs, the bacoblins, or probably just the cold. Everyone also has had to leave a shrine, either because it was too early game and you couldn't beat a major test of strength, you couldn't solve the puzzle, or you just got bored of it. Everyone has gotten a horse next to the Dueling Peak Stables or next to the Great Plateau, then accidentally killed your horse, eventually revived your long lost horse, and then ditched your horse after completing the DLC. You know what else is at stables? Dogs. And there's no way you haven't tried to pet them, just to be heartbroken and then make up your own way of petting them. Now not everyone has done this because it's hidden, but most players have gone to the weapon stash and loaded up on some good loot. If you don't know where it is, here's the location on the map. And once you've gotten a good weapon, you probably save that so it wouldn't break, thinking that you use it on a boss or something, but it's still been in your inventory this entire time. Stamina is a great mechanic in Breath of the Wild to encourage you to think through your exploration. It's also your worst enemy when you're climbing, just about to get to the top, and then you run out of it. You've probably also started to climb just for it to start to rain. Wind bombs are a great tool for getting around Hyrule quickly. Everyone has used these many times. You've probably also failed a wind bomb a couple times. Cooking is a bit strange. How come star fragments and Lionel Guts make good dishes, while diamonds make W's food? You've definitely made W's food a good few times trying to figure this out. Another good ingredient for food is dragon scales, and it's super easy to get them by just farming Farage scales with a bow and a campfire. After a while, fighting Lynels doesn't become hard, and now it's just something you do when you're bored. But it's the worst when you kill them, they drop their weapons, and you get long throw, so you throw that long throw. I know I say this all the time, but Breath of the Wild is absolutely stunning. There's no way you haven't just relaxed and admired the scenery and beauty of this map. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see a video about the most wanted features for Tears of the Kingdom, click the video on screen.